Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at course learning objectives. You might already have course learning objectives or they may have been predetermined by your department, but in any event it's a good idea to take a look at them and see if any tweaking needs to happen. As we can see in this visual, designing a course is a circular type of motion. You begin with what your intended learning outcomes are and then you think of the different learning activities and the assessments that you will use in order to support having that learning outcome. So when you are constructing your course learning objectives, you want to begin with the end in mind, that is backwards design. You want to uh, state what the student will be able to know and do by the end of the course by having taken this course. One book here, Designing and Assessing Courses and Curricula, which is by Diamond, is available in the library at Rutgers Newark. You can click on through to get this link in the PowerPoint. Diamond says that your learning objectives need to have three things. The first is a verb that describes an observable action. The second, a description of the conditions under which the action will take place. And thirdly, the acceptable performance level. So when you're using your specific verbs, a good place to start is to use Bloom's taxonomy to get your action verbs. Bloom's taxonomy, of course, is leveled according to different cognitive levels, so it's handy and easy to use when you're designing your course learning objectives. The um, cognitive levels start from the lower cognitive domain remembering and goes all the way up to creating. If you want to see this graphic uh, in larger detail, just click it on in the PowerPoint. All graphics uh, you can click on, click on and you'll be able to see more closely. Here is an example of the Bloom's taxonomy chart. You can also Google this very easily. There, It's very easily available. And so when you are looking to design your course to make sure that it is following quality matters standards, designing your course learning objectives is one of the standards that you will have to meet. You can click on the QM logo here and you can be directed to the QM website. We do have a free account here at Rutgers. So here are some example course objectives. You can also go on the internet and look them up yourself if you need any kinds of references. But you can see that they are specific, they have action verbs, and then there is a measurable outcome to them. If we look at some maybe not as well designed course objectives, the first one, students will learn how to develop a well-designed argument. So pause on that. The second one, students are provided with opportunities to learn about contemporary problems in the field of biology. Now, as we look at that, ask yourselves, are these course objectives measurable, observable, and specific? No, you can actually take them and you can tweak them to make them into the higher level course objectives. So here's an example. Students will identify an issue, develop an arguable thesis about the issue, locate relevant supporting evidence, analyze the evidence, and compose a well-supported conclusion. So you can see that using these action verbs shows how the students' uh, learning outcomes are going to be supported and developed. The second one, students will evaluate the challenges associated with solving a contemporary biological problem analyze the importance of finding a solution, and justify the validity of the scientific evidence currently used in pursuit of solutions for the problem. So basically, you can measure these um, learning objectives, and you can see that they are very specific. So at the end of a course, a student will be able to do this, and I think we can all say, okay, I can understand. I do know what the student will need to be able to do just by using these learning outcomes. So here we are. What are your course learning objectives? The idea is to discuss your course learning objectives in Blackboard and see if together as a group we can um, come up and give each other feedback. Thank you.